So you guys are gonna have to forgive me for being a horrible YouTuber. <laughs> I meant to set up the GoPro and for this trip, and then I didn't, and so now I'm using my phone. But I'm riding the bike. The tires stayed pumped up, no problems. So I'm on my way down to Comary right now. About to get passed by another car. All right, so, yeah, I had a great morning. Um, I was talking with my mom on the phone, kind of walking her around the property a little bit, and uh, <laughs> walked out the side entrance and basically walked right into one of my neighbors, um, a couple. Um, I won't say names or anything just yet. I want to make sure that it's okay with people that, you know, being on camera, information, all that kind of stuff, I am not trying to bother people, so, um, but great, great couple, probably 10 or, 10 or 20 years older than me, but really great people, um, the guy actually was nice enough, he took me in the car and we went up to the, uh, Soshoji Temple, the Buddhist temple, uh, they were doing a ceremony. They were having a funeral, so we couldn't uh, go inside or anything. But that's okay, there's plenty of time for that, you know. Um, and then we went to the Horoamitake Shrine. So that was really cool. Nice to uh, get to do. Um, yeah. I, I just, I, I love it here. This is, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Please pardon me while I switch it up. I mean, look at the rock face. That is unreal. So, they do, uh, they have a limestone quarry right here. So that's pretty cool. Or mar mar or marble or limestone. I think it's limestone. Oh yeah, you can see it. Wow, that's crazy. Once we get around here, they've got it blocked off pretty darn well. Oh no, that's a hill. That hill's gonna suck because this is a one-speed bike. So I'm gonna speed up <laughs> while I'm a little flat. Oh yeah, they've got it blocked pretty well. All right, I'm gonna slow down here in a second. Oh shit! <laughs> this is ridiculous. I need a multi-speed bike. My legs are burning. Let's make it. Let's make it. We got this. We're almost to the top. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yeah. Well, I will say one thing. I'm very glad that I sped up. Because that would have been horrible. And now we're going down and going much faster. And that guy's about to hit me. <laughs> oh, that's a nice break. Oh, don't lose the hat. Man, nice. Yeah, you talk about a nice give back after uh, all that work. <laughs> oh, that was helpful. Oh, a nice little break for the legs. So, yeah, it's not too bad of a ride or anything. But I'm going to have to absolutely remember that on the way back. I was kind of like up and around a corner. So, make sure to be going 35 miles an hour. <laughs> when you hit it next time, Matt. Uh, all right. There we go. I know we're bouncing around a little bit, but look at the fields. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So not too much farther, I don't think. I think we go around, up and around the corner here, then we take a right. 
and then we probably go like another half kilometer or so. And it should be right there. It's like up at a, uh, or I might be wrong, I might be right up here. Oh, actually, I think it is. Yep, yep, so I kind of study this place a little bit on Google Maps beforehand, so I kind of got a lay of the land. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of refamiliarizing myself with the sights. You know, it looks a lot different on Google Street View and Google Maps than it does in real life, obviously. Lots of onions, lots of garlic. I see people uh, drying right now, including that couple that I was talking about that came and introduced themselves. Great people. They, uh, they uh, invited me into their home, got me a drink, and um, I can't remember. It's hard to remember the name but some kind of a berry, it's like a, it was, well, it was actually like a grape. A uh, very, very small, kind of sour grape. And she had made it into like a jelly or, or a preserve or something, you know, with it's got pieces in it. And uh, she asked me if I wanted to try it. I said, yeah, yeah, definitely. And she said, on, uh, on yogurt, can you eat yogurt? Said, yeah. She got me a little thing of yogurt. That was good. I like it because it wasn't overly sweet. You know, like sometimes, well, a lot of times people make yog or uh, jams and all that kind of stuff, and they just throw put so much stinking sugar in. It's ridiculous. We don't need that much sugar. So she didn't over sweeten it. So it was more of a mild. Like you could tell there was a little tart, but it was sweet. You know, but not crazy sweet. So, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I was right the first time, actually. Go around a corner. Go down. And then you'll be at the next one. Yeah, oof. A little inclined. Not bad. So few cars around. Beautiful. So another cool thing. He, uh, that guy took me. He said, uh, "Well, they had asked me like what I do and all that." And I told him the plants and everything, and where I was from and all that. He says, "Banana." I said, "Yeah, yeah, we grow a lot of bananas. I love bananas." And he said, uh, "He said ice cream banana," and I was like, "Yeah." I got those too. He's, and so he was telling me that there was a person there in the town growing ice cream bananas. And I said, nah, -uh. in a greenhouse, right? And he's, he said, no, in the ground. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. No, here? And you know, like, no way. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he took me up to look at him. So I'll put that video in here. So check this out guys, he's got citrus, the oranges, and limes, and no joke, he's growing bananas in the ground, outside in 8B. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's fruiting. This got fruit, and he's got papaya, and dragon fruit, and passion fruit and <laughs> all kinds of stuff that shouldn't be working up here. Oh, so cool. So cool. Lots of salvias and all kinds of stuff. The beautiful cut flowers. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Wow. I mean, that was cool. He had a lot of cool stuff. He had a lot of cool stuff that I uh, carry too. Like he had Rosa Sharon hibiscus. Uh, he was growing papaya, for God's sakes. Like, wow. Uh, papaya outside. He had sugar cane. You know, all kinds of stuff. So cool. So cool. So, with limited ability, obviously, I uh, 
kind of chatted with him a little bit told him where I was and all that kind of stuff and we talked about the plan he had dragon fruit and passion fruit I mean <laughs> he's an EP I'm in 9a and I won't suggest dragon fruit I mean you could do it obviously and we have a great weather for it but we also have the cold you know so he must he must cover it or or something because they were big you can see it in the video you should be able to see it in the video anyway they were big and passion fruit and pots and i think it was in the ground too i didn't look at those all that much but so neat he had a lot of beautiful cut flowers and stuff there's more of the uh the limestone mining yeah you can see a little bit more of it too this time uh, yeah crazy so not too far from here is gaby k gorge and uh it's listed on one of the top 100 places to visit in japan And uh, I can stop by there because actually the come area isn't that far. It's probably half a half a kilometer or or one kilometer maybe something like that away. It's all in the same little town, and they're kind of like all together too. So everything's you know packed pretty tight. It's a very small town. It's just nothing big. You know, and that's that's what I love about this area. Just small, small areas. Man, that rock face. It's just incredible. <sighs> All kinds of refining going on around here. Yeah, I see the Comary sign. Right around the corner. So you can actually walk to uh, Gaby K from the house through the mountains. But, I mean, I don't know who's going to do it. Not me. I mean, I'm sure they did it 150, 200 years ago. I'm not doing it. Not now. No stinking way. <laughs> I looked it up on, on Google Maps, you know, and... Uh, a uh, 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 little up, a little down, a little up, a little down. Oh. All right, nobody behind me. And then we go under this bridge. And we're there. Hopefully nobody touches the bike. It's got a really neat little lock deal thing with something on it. That like stops the wheel from going. That's pretty cool. All right, we're here. So when we get off of here, go do some shopping. All right, so leaving the Camari now. Hats on. <laughs> uh, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, some soap and toilet paper and a bunch of little tools like. Uh, face mask, um, glasses, all kinds of stuff that I'm going to need for cleaning and whatnot. So, time to, uh, oh yeah, I got to unlock this thing. Now, this thing has some cool little features. This is the lock right here, so you can see it. It stops the spokes from being able to go. And whenever... It, so, I am not trying to 
drive with all this stuff and one-handed so i will see you guys back at the house okay well i literally just got back uh, i still i'm still out of breath even <laughs> toilet paper soap clean stuff and then I got a new set of printers just because we need them. I got some sponges. I got a three prong outlet adapter thing I'm using. I got a bath sponge because I need it. And face masks. Because everything is covered in dust and dirt and who knows what else. So, good face masks, some rags to wash things with. Got a pot, I can finally make some freaking noodles. <laughs> I've only had two bananas since yesterday morning. Um, and then... set of goggles again for the dust and dirt and craziness I got a great mask as well uh, another you know style uh, just in case those are horrible or this is horrible I can do either one so I got that <clears throat> uh, tape measure I got a nice bit set for my drill all the tools will stay here um, I got some metallic brushes for cleaning out all the doorways and, and corners and stuff so that everything slides a bit better. So that's the start of the door project. And then I got a new thing for the toilet because the toilet actually works. They said the toilet didn't work. Everything needs to be replaced. It? No, it works just fine. <laughs> Kind of funny, it actually does work. The sink works, the everything works. Um, now the bathroom definitely needs work, but it works. And so I don't have to use the stinking bathroom outside, so that's kind of nice, right? <laughs> uh, hammer, uh, some gloves for cleaning. I want cleaning stuff. I also have a, a pair of gloves that I brought with me for outdoor work. And I got a water filter because that's an absolute necessity too. I need some water. Uh, adjustable wrench. There's the filter for that mask. And that's it. That's it. Pretty sure. Wait, oh wait. There's something else. And then, <laughs> uh, adjustable pliers and a razor knife. I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it for this trip um, because I've just got the basket on the front and my backpack. So, uh, the things that I didn't get a fan. I really want a fan and I, I wanted to get it. But I also really don't want to go back there again, like right now. I'll probably just go later today. I'll make the second trip. So, because I'm tired. Um, and I want to eat first. Get me recharged a bit. Um, anyways, um, the fan, a broom. Because um, the brooms are kind of crappy. They also had a really cool dusting thing with an extendo handle so I think I'm gonna get that instead of trying to rely on that homemade one from the attic <laughs> so I'll get those and I'm sure I'll have a little list of other stuff too you know but these are kind of like the essentials to basically get started and get going um, as I get into things obviously I'll, I'll be getting more stuff you know I'll probably need some rollers for doors and all that kind of that's all right, you know. Um, I'm gonna need caulk. I'm gonna need 
tape and sealer and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to probably make 87 freaking trips to that place over the next 21 days. So we'll see what happens. Um, my morning was taken up pretty much um, by one of the neighbors, which I'm not complaining whatsoever. Just saying. Uh, uh, it was actually fantastic. I, I love, uh, they are really great people. Uh, I'm so happy that I got to meet them and I've already made a new friend, you know, which is nice. Um, uh, they they have a great little garden. They gave me some, some veggies and stuff. I'll actually show you. We went to, uh, the guy took me to the uh, Sosha Ji Temple and the Horuwamitake Shrine. So that was really cool. Um, and we were going to go some other places, but I told him, I was like, I, I have so much stuff to do. Oh, I don't want to show his information. Um, but uh, that I bought at the store. But how cool, right? They gave me some peppers, some cukes, some eggplants, and tomatoes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Great people. I, I'm glad to have met them. Uh, so, and they just live just a few doors uh, across the street, actually. So, if you saw the other video, my my entrance kind of opens up into a road, basically. And they're just like, doot, 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 just like three or four houses down on the left. So, that's awesome. Uh, I need to get that drone up in the air so that you guys can see some of this stuff. Um, on the next trip, um, I'm going to be getting my GoPro all set up. I'll, I'll get that. Because I'll be able to film a lot more stuff. I have all kinds of mounts for, you know, chest mount, head mount, bag mount, rail mount, like all kinds of stuff. So I'll be able to take that with me. That way I don't have to hold it and that'll make a huge difference. Uh, you guys will be able to follow along and, and get to see more stuff. I can walk around the store and all that kind of stuff without having to try to hold it. So I am going to make some food. And get that water filter on there. And then we're going to start work. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. I am having a lot of fun. I've got so much to do still. <laughs> As you see, everything's still kind of like laid out just right here in the entrance, you know. Um, I'm kind of like temporarily set up in there. That'll probably be my room for the most part since it's, you know, really easily located. I don't have to go upstairs or downstairs or none of that craziness. So, yeah. So, all right. I'll get off of here and I'll see you in a bit.